Hey y'all, it's Jocelyn McClellan with Fit Mission Makeup. I'm so excited for this tutorial. I'm gonna show you what I wish I would have known three years ago when I was putting on way too much eyeliner, made myself look way too old just from using too much eyeliner. So I have the Kat Von D Liquid Eyeliner. This is a waterproof baby. I love this sucker. I've actually only been using it for a little bit. Usually when I do reviews for you guys, I've been using it for a while. But let's roll this sucker out, okay? So I want to bring to you today an eyeshadow tutorial for beginners. I think I'm gonna stick with more beginners and I think it's important to focus maybe on mature eyes, hooded eyes, people who have uh, lots of skin on their eyes like me. We're gonna start, we're gonna do this baby right here. This is the Tattoo Liner by Kat Von, Day, Von D. It's a waterproof liquid liner and I'm super impressed with this sucker. So people would always ask me what I used before and I said, I'm not gonna tell you what I used before because it sucks. So this one's, this was what I used before um, and it says it's waterproof too, but it's lying. It's lying, it sucks. So we're gonna do the Tattoo Liner. A uh, big thing I wanna point out. I don't know if I want to show you how I used to do my eyeliner. Maybe I can pop in some old pictures, but I'm going to be real with you right now. You need to not do it anymore, especially if you have hooded eyes or mature eyes where we have lots of excess skin. We might not be able to compete with the 20 year olds when it comes to this department. I'm sad too. So I'm not gonna show you any winged liners or anything like that. I'm gonna leave that to the young bucks who know what the heck they're doing. But what I wanna show you guys really and truly is killer ways to make your eyes pop without using a thick liner, okay? So I'm just gonna grab this little baby from Kat Von D and then I, I'll also show you another one of my favorite tips. It's so easy, I'm gonna combine the two. So let me walk you, th you through this simple, simple process really fast and that's just by using eyeshadow. You can go in and smudge and so I have this color right here called Coal. It's just a dark color, uh, it's a darker gray. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start on this lower lid and I'm gonna come to this camera right here so I can see. I'm gonna come into this corner right here and I'm gonna come up. Now this is just smudging. You guys, this one is foolproof. After I get it a little thicker than what I want, I just lift that up so now it's just a thin smudge line if you went a little too thin. But I'm just smudging out to, no any, to nothing. So I'm not going in all the way to this lid inside of here, but I'm just smudging this outer corner. Then I'm going to go in and I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go a little higher than what I think I should go. Make sure you can see that. Um, and I'm going to connect the two right here. So what this is doing is getting a liner, but it is so thin, okay? Um, and I'm what I'm gonna do here. So this is what we do I'm not gonna finish it out because I want to show you guys more smudging with the Kat Von D But you go in here and I call it when you go into the jungle So going into the jungle means that you are going to go into the lashes when you do this and not above the lashes So going into the jungle is getting into the lash line We want to get into the lash line because it helps it not look as sparse Okay, so getting in to that lash line, not on top of it. All right, kids. So we're gonna do this Kat Von D and this is the best trick I have for you. I'm gonna focus on this camera so that hopefully you guys can really get it really good. But the main thing that I wanna focus it on is getting this little tip, okay? This tip right here, it's so good to have something that's that strong of a tip so that we can go in and get our business done. All right. so. What we wanna do is I, we know how I just said, get into the jungle. I want you to, you're pretty much going to go and lay this on the lashes. So you're not gonna go high. Do you see that one area that I marked? It's not, we're not going up on top of the lash line. Okay, we're gonna lay this onto the lashes and if I mess up at all, it's okay because we're gonna smudge. So have your brush already out, have your brush ready because since this is waterproof, it doesn't have very much time to dry because you're gonna then go in and just smudge out that line. And then it's so, ever so thin. 
okay? But you would have time to do the whole um, eyelid, but because I stopped to talk. All right, so I'm laying this on the lashes and drawing this line. Stay on the lashes, okay? And on the lashes this way. And then I'm gonna smudge. Try and keep your lid on as much as possible to not to dry it out. And then I'm gonna smudge that out. And it makes it stay really light, like so. All right, now I'm gonna move to the bottom lashes because I want the two to connect right here. And I didn't wanna have to bring this down too strong. So the older that we get, the more our eyes are gonna droop down. Okay, they're gonna droop down and then we want to make sure that we're lifting them up, that we're building them up. So I didn't want it to put too much emphasis down. So I'm gonna take this baby right here and I'm just gonna put it higher than what that all the way down part would be to kind of give it its own lift. But it's really important when that we finish out the corner eye. Like I can't stress that enough is finishing out that corner eye. It, it makes a complete difference, especially when we have hooded eyes or we have more mature eyes or we are just really trying to finish, get it a polished off look. So then I'm just gonna lift this up, focus on it being up, not down. And again, don't ever droop down just because it goes down. We wanna raise that and lift that up. Um, the next thing that I feel is so huge, but it's something that not everybody focuses on, but I want it to be possible something that you think about, is under here, it's like the waterline-ish area, but again, it's getting into that hood. I want you to, aren't these compacts so cool? I love the fact that I can just do whatever, the, put in whatever colors I want into them. They're so amazing. Uh, but I want you guys to go up in under that area. So you're going to get into the hood and sometimes we go a little close to the eyeball, but it's okay. It'll, it'll fix itself. Okay, and then really get into that jungle. Sometimes I seriously put it there and blink and it kind of does the job for me. Okay, my eyes watering just a little bit because I got a little too close. It's like one of those things that kind of takes a little bit of practice. Again, you don't have to do that step, but it makes your lashes look fuller. It, it just opens it up. I want you to focus on something too. I want you to come a little closer. I want you to see. I didn't go all the way across my eye, all the way across my eye. We want you to look younger. Now, the more, the older we get, the more this skin around here, the waterline, it gets thicker and thicker and it turns more of a reddish purple color. And so that's where that smudging really comes into play to not try and get, fill all that in. You guys, I promise you, it makes you look older. You, it, It's not as good. I promise you, you are gonna have to get used to the fact that you are wearing less eyeliner. I had to, I used to wear so much eyeliner. Um, but once you graduate past that, you are gonna be so happy you did and you're gonna love it. In fact, maybe I'll show you what I used to do. It's not as good, I promise you. All right, so I'm gonna do this other eye really quick like so that you can see and then I'm gonna finish off my makeup and we're done. Okay, so I come over on this side. I cross my arms like so. Okay, and this one can kind of hold it. That's one thing that's awesome about holding a mirror in your hand is you can take this and kind of have that support, right like so, you see that? We good? Okay, and then I'm gonna cross over. I'm gonna lay this on to the lash line. Okay, I'm not gonna go to the very edge. I'm gonna come here. And I'm gonna come up. I'm gonna take my brush and I'm gonna smudge it out. So like I said, this is a really good tutorial for beginners. Now, if you guys haven't seen any of my other tutorials on Facebook or on Instagram, you need to check those out because I'm always doing tutorials there. And on Facebook, I do tutorials every Tuesday and Thursday, every Tuesday is makeup and every Thursday is hair unless something's going on, but you can always count on, on, on those days. Okay, I'm gonna take this color. Again, it can be whatever color that you want. And I'm gonna go in, I can smudge that out just a bit with that color. And then I'm gonna take it up into the jungle, like so.
and just like that. Okay, I'm gonna just finish up this face real quick. I'm gonna put my mascara on. Um, with the mascara, I really try hard to focus on getting as close to the eyelid as possible with that lash line. So I'm gonna come down and then wiggle my way up. All right, I'll roll this out and then I'll see you in just a sec. Okay, there's the finished look right there. Do you see? Okay, we have a light application of eyeliner. I think I'm gonna do this. I hope I don't regret it because this is waterproof. But this is the Kat Von D Waterproof Liquid Eyeliner. It stays on pretty dang good, but I'm gonna show you how I used to do my eyes. So we've now seen this awesome eye right here and I'm gonna show you how I used to do my eyes. Okay, I don't wanna do this. I do not wanna do this for the fact alone that I, okay, but I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna show you the difference that this really truly makes. So one of the things I used to always do was I'd come in on top of here and I'd put it on and then when I'd mess up, then I would try and fix it and I would never go in and try and smudge it out. I never did. So it's just getting, you can already see, it's just getting thicker and thicker and it just does not look as good. Now, then what I would do is I'd mess up on a side and I would just make it go bigger and bigger and bigger. Now this pencil is seriously so good. I love it. I'd come down here Okay. And here. So for an everyday look, that's what I did. It just makes such a difference on you. When you look at my eyes now, do you see my eye? Or do you see the liner? Look at this eye. Do you see my eye? Or do you see the liner? And then you see this eye. That's what I did on an everyday basis. I mean, I don't know, maybe it's good for a girl's night out or something, but it just would get thicker and thicker. Now I'm gonna show you one more thing, okay? What happens if I go in and I do my eyes all the way around? I'm gonna show you how closed off that this eye is gonna be. Okay, look at that. Do you just see the difference in harshness? It's night and day difference in how your everyday look can be. So I know in the beginning, it's gonna be hard for us to be like, that is what it should look like. I like, like, cause you might be used to this, but I promise you that as you fade into something lighter, you're gonna feel like you look younger. At first you're gonna feel naked, but this, even for hooded eyes, because with hooded eyes, that excess skin is just taking all over it. So this is just gonna simmer it on down to do this eye. All right, y'all, I hope that you loved the eyeliner tutorial for beginners or for someone who has hooded eyes. I know that having excess skin on the eyes makes it hard, the hooded eyes makes it hard, but I hope that in this tutorial, you learned a thing or two about how to make yourself look younger, make those eyes lift, and this waterproof liquid eyeliner is pretty dang awesome stuff. So I picked a waterproof one so that you guys who come to me saying that you have watery eyelids, this is something that you can use. I think you're really gonna like it. But again, this is black. We wanna make sure that we don't apply it too thick and that you just rock it out, you guys. So if you have any other questions, let me know. Fit Mission Makeup with Jocelyn McClellan's on Facebook, lives on Tuesdays and Thursdays. And then of course, jocelyn.mcclellan on Instagram where I answer so many more of your questions. All right, you guys, until next time, we'll see you later.